Hi, my name is Ed Potts and I'm a lieutenant here with the Roswell Fire Department and this is Sparky, our fire safety mascot. Our job is to keep people safe from fires and we have lots of great tools for doing that. One of those tools is the fire safety trail that you see behind us. We like to use this high-tech state-of-the-art vehicle to teach you how to prevent fires and keep you prepared in case it ever happens. It's built to work like the inside of a house that you all live in and provides us with a safe location to demonstrate fire dangers and ways to avoid them. There are two main areas in the fire safety trailer. The front of the trailer is our kitchen where we will learn about kitchen safety and fireplace safety. The second room is our bedroom where we will practice what we have learned on fire safety. Now join Sparky and me in the kitchen while we go over some fire safety tips. Here we are in our kitchen area. Though it looks kind of small, it's probably pretty similar to what you have at home. When there's cooking, there's fire, so we want to be extra careful in this room and pay attention to these fire safety guidelines. Be careful when using the microwave oven. It's a quick and easy way to heat up your food, but there's a few things you want to keep in mind before pressing any buttons. First of all, don't use the microwave unless grown-ups have given you permission. Go ahead, Sparky. Once they say it's okay, make sure your food is in a microwave-safe container and that there's no metal objects like tin foil or silverware. We're going to put that in the microwave so he can heat up his lunch. Now when it's done, we want to make sure that it's not too hot to the touch. Oh, is that hot, Sparky? All right, you better take your pot holders. We got some pot holders there for him to be able to get his hot meal out. Just remember, anything that comes out of the microwave is going to be hot, so you want to be very careful when you set it down on the counter or table. Though you might not be using this stove yourself, you should always be careful in this area of the home. The kitchen is not an area to play in. What we want to do is we want to keep at least three feet from the stove at all times. Sparky, you want to help me with that? So, here's three feet. So we want to stay three feet away from this stove at all times and not be in here because there's three main hazards everybody should be looking out for in the kitchen. Okay, our number one hazard in the kitchen is open flames and any sources of heat from the stove. When the stove is on, these elements can catch clothing on fire, as well as things like boxes of food or even pot holders. The second hazard we have in the kitchen are pots and pans on the stove. We want to make sure that the handles on pots are not turned out because someone can bump into them like your little brother or sister and they can knock that pot over it and they can get burnt by the stuff that's inside. So we want to make sure that we turn that handle in. Sparky, can you turn that handle in for me so that we're nice and safe? All right, great job, Sparky. Our third hazard in the kitchen is caused by grease fires. This happens when people are frying foods in a pot and they get too hot. Water only makes this worse. Oh, we want to make sure we have a lid available that we can put on top of that to smother the fire and put the fire out. Good job, Sparky. That was kind of scary, wasn't it? The sink is a spot you're very familiar with. We wash our hands, we get drinks of water, but that doesn't mean it's safe all the time. Down below in the cabinets, families store a bunch of potentially poisonous and toxic items. Cabinet should always be latched closed if there's ever any kids in the house. Great job, Sparky. The next item isn't in every home and probably not in the kitchen, but you should always know how to be safe around a fireplace. There are great ways to keep your house warm and toasty in the winter, but they could be very dangerous. Don't go near a fireplace without an adult in the room and never ever play with matches which can often be located nearby. Remember to check every smoke detector in your house every month by pressing the test button and hearing the loud alarm. Change the batteries if the sound is weak. You should also check your fire extinguisher to make sure it's in working order. Is it damaged, dented, rusty, leaking any liquids? Good deal. Make sure you return it to the right spot so that's visible in case of an emergency, you'll be able to get it out quickly. Okay kids, now let's watch our fire safety video 
And after the video, we're gonna go back to our bedroom and we're gonna watch Sparky practice everything that he's learned in the video. to do. Check out this free deputy fire marshal's kit with cool stuff to help you. Did you know that many fires started because kids played with matches and lighters? It's really sad. The fire started with matches and lighters for thousands of people last year. Like parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters. If you ever see matches or lighters, don't touch them. Matches and a lighter. Remember? Wow! Keep your eyes open, and if you see these, tell a grown up right away. But never touch them, and you'll be a real superhero. Like a deputy fire marshal? Exactly! <laughs> Don't touch matches or ladders. Tell a grown up instead. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. Sounds like a fire in progress. Let's check it out. Jose Hydrant, what's happening? We're not sure, but someone playing with matches may have started it. That's terrible. You know it, and it was out of control in just a few minutes. You guys need more water? Okay, here it comes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Jose. Whoa. Hope you get that fire whoa. under control. Whoa. We'll check back with you later. Muy bien. Very good, eh? We'll check on that fire later. But now, here's something cool that can warn you about fire. It's one of the most important safety devices you can have in your home. A smoke detector. Ow! I hate smoke. Who are you? See more smoke. Smoke detector. <laughs> the more smoke I see, the more noise I make. And I see more smoke coming from that toaster. <gasps> Thanks for warning us, Seymour. That's my job. <coughs> I hate smoke. It's disgusting. <coughs> It gives me a headache. So whenever I see it or smell it, I make this noise to warn you. Cause where there's smoke, there may be fire. Good tip, Seymour. That's a different noise. What does that mean, Seymour? Now, if you hear me chirping, that could mean two things. That could mean, well, all of a sudden you bought a bird that you didn't know about, or, it could mean that my batteries are low. Go tell your parents that I need new batteries. How many smoke detectors do you have in your home? Count them. Yeah, you count them. Is there one outside your bedroom? Is there? There should be. Tell your parents. You'll see more of me later. Be cool about fire safety. Do you know how to escape from your home if there's a fire? You gotta have a plan. <laughs> They didn't have a plan, but these people do. You gotta have a plan. Go 
grown-ups can make it, and firemen can help. Okay, in case of a fire, you and your sister to go out this door. Okay? Or we can always go out that way. We have two exits, okay? We need two ways out. escape plan, whether you live in a house or a building. And remember, practice makes perfect. It could save your life and your family. So tell your parents, we gotta have a plan. You gotta have an escape plan and you'll be a step ahead. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. We're still trying to put out this fire. It's a hard job, but it's our job, not yours. If you're in a fire, don't try to put it out. It's your job to get away. Here are some other don'ts to remember. Don't take time to save your toys or pets. Don't get in an elevator, and don't ever, please, don't ever go back into a burning house. Fires can be very scary. Even firemen get scared sometimes. So it's only natural kids would be scared too, especially if they might have started the fire. But no matter what, no matter how scared you feel, never, never, ever hide. Don't hide. Go outside. Can you remember that? Don't hide. Go outside. If you see someone that looks like this, don't be scared. Firemen have to wear all this strange looking stuff to protect themselves, like masks, to help them breathe. It makes us look and sound weird and scary. But really, we're not. So don't be afraid of us. Be afraid of fire. And remember, even if you're afraid, don't hide. Go outside. Don't hide! Go outside! Get out the door and run! Be cool about fire safety! Smoke! The smoke detector here! And you know, I... Hey! Hey! Up here! Up here! Point to the one who's talking! Boy, these cameramen don't know anything! Anyway, I have another cool rule about fire safety. Do you know how to escape a fire? No, you don't. I'll bet you don't. Well, would you believe you could learn the answer from a baby? You could. You really could. Just pay attention. Even they know, no matter how small, you gotta fall and you gotta crawl. If you get caught in a fire, here's what you shouldn't know. Get down on your knees and you remember, please, to keep your body low. You just got to crawl and crawl, that's all. And you get out of the fire. Crawl and crawl, that's all. Go to a neighbor's house and call the local emergency number. Do you know yours? Quick! What's the number for 911? How do I know? 
Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Mr. Repairman, all the machines in my house are acting weird. I mean, the vacuum cleaner is supposed to sound like... <coughs> but right now, it sounds like... <coughs> marbles. And the blender, well, last night, the cat turned it on. <coughs> And the washing machine? Oh, forget about the washing machine. It sounds like... <laughs> Kids, could you answer the door, please? Thanks. Hope, it's an emergency! Dad, it's Billy, it's an emergency! Hey, well, I have an emergency. My house is nuts! But, Mr. Winslow, my house is on fire! Why didn't you say so? Mm -hmm. Goodbye! Come on. 9 I have to report a fire. 18 Maple. You're on your way? Thanks. Don't worry, Billy. Pretty soon you'll be hearing... To report a fire, always go to a neighbor's house and call 911 or your local emergency number. Ask a grown-up what number you should call. Don't hide! Go outside! Get out the door and run! You got a race to a neighbor's place and down 911. What would you do if you were on fire? I don't know, jump in a tub? No, you gotta stop, drop, and roll. Come on. If your clothes catch fire, you gotta drop to the ground. Chuck, Sue, I'm pooped. The fire is finally under control. It took hours to put out what started in a couple of minutes. That house looks pretty bad. What's left of it? At least no one was hurt. This time, they had an escape plan. Great, that was smart. We've all got to work together to stop fires. That means you, Deputy Fire Marshals. Don't touch matches. If you see these, tell a grown-up right away. You gotta have a plan! Don't hide. Go outside. You gotta fall and you gotta crawl. Stop, drop, and roll! <laughs> hey! Holy smokes! What about me? Everyone should see more smoke detectors in their home! You're right, Seymour the Smoke Detector. See more smoke detectors. Learn these cool rules and you could be the deputy fire marshal in your home. And get your free deputy fire marshal's kit. So long for now, deputy fire marshals. And remember, be cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Cool. If you don't want to get burned, be cool about fire safety. You got a lot to learn. Don't touch matches or ladders. Tell a grown up instead. You gotta have an escape plan, and you be a step ahead. Don't hide, go outside, get out the door and run. You gotta race to a neighbor's place and dial 911. Be cool about fire safety. If you don't wanna get burned, be cool about fire safety. You got a lot to learn. Smoke detectors do you have in your home? Count them. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. If you don't want to get burned, be cool about fire safety. You got a lot to learn. Remember that where there's fire, there's going to be
be a lot of smoke. Be a lot of smoke. Fall and crawl and cover your mouth. So smoke can make you choke. Be cool about fire safety. Adios. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that video on fire safety. Let's go meet with Sparky in our fire safety trailer and let's see if Sparky remembers those things that we learned in the fire safety video. Now Sparky is going to demonstrate some of the things you can do in your very own bedroom should there be a fire in your house and you want to be able to get out of your bedroom safely. First, we have to have an emergency plan. This includes evacuation routes and meeting places. We want to have a place outside your house where you can meet. We're going to have a mailbox outside and that's going to be our meeting place. Remember, you only have one or two minutes to escape a fire once you hear that smoke alarm going off. So having a plan is very essential. Second, we want to close before you doze. We want to make sure the door to your bedroom is closed so that there's no easy way for smoke or fire to get into your room and gives you time to get out. Nice and cozy in there, Sparky. All right, great job, Sparky. Now, if there's a fire and you smell smoke or hear an alarm, we want you to fall and crawl just like a baby. Keeping low keeps you down away from the smoke and heat so you can breathe. If you can reach your door, we want you to feel it for heat. We want you to use the back of your hand because that's the most sensitive part of your hand. We want you to feel the door and feel the doorknob to see if it's hot. And if it is hot, we don't want you to open up the door because that means there's probably smoke or fire behind that door. If you need to go out, you need to have a second way out of your room. So you have to look at your emergency plan and the second way out will probably be a window that'll lead you to outside. And most importantly, we don't want you to hide. We want you to go outside. Finally, now that the whole family is out of danger, it's time to call 911. Use your cell phone if you have it, or go to a neighbor's house to make the call. But you never want to leave the meeting place without telling your parents that you're going somewhere. So you can call 911 and let the operator know what your name is, where you live, and tell her that there's a fire in your house. Make sure you let them know that everyone's out of the house and you're waiting by the mailbox for the fire department to show up. If the situation happens where fire comes in contact with your clothes, what are you going to do, Sparky? That's right, you want to stop, drop, and roll. This will smother the flames quickly when something like running will only make it worse. You okay, Sparky? All right, good job, Sparky. Okay, so let's review some of the things we learned today. Only use a microwave oven with adult supervision. Use pot holders when handling dishes that might be hot. Stay at least three feet away from the stove. Be careful of open flames catching fire on objects and clothes. Making sure all handles are pointed in and away on pots and pans. Smother or grease fire. Water only makes it worse. Keep chemicals safely locked away behind the cabinets. Only be near a fireplace with adult supervision. Never play with matches. Keep all your emergency equipment up to date with regular checks. Have an emergency plan and practice it. A plan is only good if you know it by heart. 
close before you doze. Very important, you wanna keep your bedroom door closed at all times at night. Fall and crawl in the event of a fire. Keep your head low and out of the smoke. Don't hide, go outside. Get outdoors quickly and safely to your designated meeting place and then call 911 for help once you're out of danger. We hope this video helps you remember some of the easy ways you could be a part of fire safety and prevention. It's an important job that everyone needs to know so that we could all be safe, happy, and healthy. To obtain a free copy of our fire activity book, please visit any of our fire stations or you can go to our website at roswellgov.com fire to be sent a free copy.